Hi, friends. I'm Pastor Jack Mantrick, pastor at Central United Methodist Church. This past Sunday was Pentecost Sunday, a great celebration of the church uh, birthday and the gift of God's Holy Spirit upon each and every one of us. And I've been speaking this week about not just the light of God's Spirit upon us uh, that we gained it in uh, um, at Pentecost, but also other lights that illumine our lives and help us to share the love of Christ. The light of education, the light of culture, uh, the, the, the light of, um, of medicine, of technology, all these different lights, different from uh, the light of Christ, can complement the light of Christ in sharing a, a witness with others in the world. Uh, Pastor Bob Kaler uh, shares the story of a little girl uh, who on the way home from church said to her, her mother, Mommy, I, I was confused by the pastor's message today. And the mother said, Oh, what, what did you find confusing? And the little girl said, Well, the pastor said that God is bigger than us. Is that true? And the mother said, Yes, that's, that's true. And the little girl said, Well, the pastor also said that God lives within us. Is that true? And the mother said, yes, uh, yes, that's true. By this time, she's probably wondering where her little girl is going with this conversation. And she says, well, if God is bigger than us and he lives in us, wouldn't he show through us? Well, of course, that's a great analogy, right? That God's presence in our lives would become so big that it can't help but to show through our lives, uh, how we live our lives, how we speak with others, how we interact in public. Uh, I've had people come up to me and uh, thank God <laughs> they didn't catch me at a bad moment, but they'll say to me, says, are you a, a person of faith? <laughs> and I say, yes, yeah, I, I am. And they said, well, you handled that situation very kind. I remember when I was coming home one day uh, uh, on an airplane and uh, I was delayed and um, they just told me, well, you know, uh, you know, can you sit over here? Uh, but while I was sitting down, um, Oh, this one man came up and he was hot. He had been bumped off the same flight that I had been bumped off of. And he was mean and nasty and abusive uh, to the young woman uh, at the counter in the airport. And she took it in such great stride. She kept calm. She did not lower herself level, did not lower her um, self to his level uh, of discourteousness. Um, but he was just horrendous. In the meantime, I sat down <laughs> and was able to actually join uh, in conversation with a, um, a flight attendant who was, I forget what they call it, jump seating uh, to uh, another destination so she could go home and be at home with her parents and, uh, or with her, excuse me, with her family. And we had a great conversation and uh, we talked about uh, uh, where, she, where we were from and uh, uh, it just happened to be that I was going to go to her hometown of San Diego in the next few months uh, with my wife. And uh, we just had a great time talking about, uh, you know, the, the beauty of San Diego and just uh, entered into a fine conversation. Now, this is what I know about that circumstance is that I got on a plane about 45 minutes later. <laughs> and I assume that the gentleman who was very discourteous and, in fact, abusive, uh, spent the night. Uh, in a hotel, uh, grumbling and uh, just being further mean about it. I just, uh, I'm not saying that I'm a better person. I'm just saying that I'm the one who got home <laughs> that, that same night. It's sort of a funny story. But I've learned over the years uh, with other lights, the, the light of relationship building uh, and neighboring that helped me to just, you know, be steady, keep perspective, and just know that, you know, it's not like I'm going to be, you know, locked up in, in, uh, in that airport for days on end. Uh, I, they were going to take care of me one way or the other. I was either going to spend a night at, at their expense in a hotel or I was going to get onto a flight. And I did. I, I was literally on a flight about 45 minutes later and, uh, and got home that same evening, albeit late. Friends, here's the deal. How do we allow the light of Christ to show through us? How, if God is so big and he lives within us, how does that light 
pop through the events, the daily events of our lives through a word of kindness, through a, a word of, of uh, expression of caring and concern, uh, through just kindness. I think, of the, I think of the fruit of the Spirit, which I think uh, really tells of a person's life. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and safe, self-control. Those elements of living our life in a daily basis allow for God's light to shine through us. And I, I believe, in my example that I gave you, that uh, I let a little bit of that light shine through me, uh, kept my composure, and, uh, and was blessed in the end. How are you blessed? By letting the love and the light of Christ shine through you in significant ways. How are you empowered? How are you set ablaze by the Holy Spirit to have a, a great witness for the, the tremendous love of God? I want you to think about that. I want you to give thanks uh, uh, for God's gift of the Holy Spirit and uh, give thanks for uh, that uh, fresh breath of the Holy Spirit upon us, which enables us to enjoy our lives and the blessings with, with which we um, live our lives through. Let's uh, talk to God about this. Gracious God, we do thank you for this time together today. We are mindful that the weekend is upon us and that we are already planning our weekend. And may our plans include being together with you in worship. May we uh, get excited about Sunday morning and uh, check in either online or in person to, to uh, a service of um, being excited about who we are as your people and how we can live more fully for your purposes here on earth as it is in heaven. May it be so in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. Hey, friends, have a great weekend. God bless you. Join us if you can on uh, 1030 on Sunday morning right here at uh, uh, live stream at uh, waterfordcumc.org. Uh, actually, the website is live.waterfordcumc.org. And uh, that's how you can uh, connect with us and um, or just call our church office and we will get you all that you need to participate fully from home for that worship service or join us right here at 3882 Highland Road here in Waterford, Michigan. Again, God bless you.